<laughs> she grabbed her sword. Whoop. Oh, that's statue. She's smiling. Aria. Oh. Hello. <laughs> He's like, um. Jack and Hagar gave me this. No one here by that name. Oh. Please. But wait. Oh. What the fuck is she supposed to do now? It's not like she can call an Uber. Oh Lord! They gonna open the door. Cersei. Oh shit! Gonna toss it. Oh, find more. You know, one minute you don't want him, next minute you're giving him orders. Damn, Brienne. Don't see what all the fuss is about. Lord Baelish, Lady Sansa, my name is Brienne of Tarth. We've met with Renly Baratheon. Your loyalty is free of charge. Someone appears to have paid quite a bit for it since then. Ah. Uh. I gave my word I would find you and protect you. I will shield your back and keep your counsel and give my life for yours if need be. No need for such formality. You were Catelyn Stark's sworn sword. She makes him look so little! It was after Renly's murder. Ah, yes. You were accused of killing him. I tried to save him. But you were accused? By men who didn't see what happened. And what did happen? He was murdered by a shadow. Mm. A shadow with the face of Stannis Baratheon. A shadow? This woman swore to protect Renly. She failed. She swore to protect your mother. She failed. Mm. Why would I want somebody with your history of failure guarding Lady Sansa? Why should you have any say in her affairs? Because right. I am her uncle. Lady Sansa, if we can have a word alone. No. Please, my lady, if I could explain. I saw you at Joffrey's wedding, bowing to the king. Neither of us wanted to be there. Sometimes we don't have a choice. And sometimes we do. You should leave. We don't want our new friend wandering the countryside alone. The roads in these parts are safe. Oh! Yo! Oh! Why are y'all bothering her? Oh, God. Why are y'all fucking with her? This is bullshit. Why are y'all chasing her? I swear to God. They're gonna kill the squire. Watch. He's gonna die. They're gonna kill Podrick? Oh. Is she gonna see him die? No. 
Where's Padraig? Uh, Oh gosh. Is he gonna die? Oh shit. <laughs> Same thing happened to Rick Grimes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh god. No! Guess that means you're unarmed. Oh shit! Padre, go hide! Yo! Oh! You can stand now. Yes, mate. He threw a rock. Poor Padre. Sandra Stark. Both Stark girls refused your service. Right? Maybe you're released from your vow. Right? I swore to their mother I'd protect those girls. But if they don't want your protection. Do you think she's safe with little finger? Uh. Oh, the bitch. What? What? What is that? I can't see. Who like it in the world? The one I'm wearing, the one I gave to myself. It's a threat. I can't sleep. I will burn their cities to the ground if they touch her. That's loud. Then don't call her your daughter. You've never been a father to her. If I was a father to any of my children, they'd be stoned in the streets. What was your caution brought? Our eldest child murdered at his own wedding. Our own daughter shipped off to dawn. Our baby boy is set to marry that smirking whore from High Garden. <laughs> she said smirking whore. <laughs> You've never made anything better. I'm Bitch! Now bring your daughter home. I'm not going to ask him anything. Mm. You go down there with an army as an act of war. No army. You're going to dawn. Um, yeah. One handed man. Alone. I was right? Ain't no pleasing you, bitch. You called him in there to do something, right? The fuck? Then when he says he's gonna do something, you want a bitch. Look at Braun. Is that the heifer he's supposed to marry? Don't you agree? Don't they? Don't move. Don't eat pigeon pie in the capital. Ah! Jerry, fucking honest. Mm, I like when Jamie be wearing that jacket. This is <laughs> She's like, who, Lord? <laughs> Just get on with it. On with what? What you're here for? There's no way this little visit could possibly mean anything good for me. It's very good. How is this good for me? Because you're going to come with me and help me with something important. And when we return. I'm going to give you a much better girl and a much better castle. Hmm. Who that? <gasps> oh. Poor thing. Ever since they killed Auburn. Damn. This Lannister girl skips about the water gardens, eating our food, breathing our air. Let me have her. Let me send her to Cersei. One finger at a time. We do not mutilate little girls for vengeance. Mm. Not here. Not while I rule. Mm. And how long would that be? Oh, shit. 
This bitch wants her vengeance. How the fuck did he know? How did he know? Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Sons of the Harpy. They want to put a collar back on my neck. Cersei has offered a lordship to the man who brings her your head. She ought to offer her cunt. Best part of her for the best part of me. Well, I suppose a box is as good a place for me as anywhere. People follow leaders. And they will never follow us. They find us repulsive. I find us repulsive. And we find them repulsive, which is why we surround ourselves with large, comfortable boxes to keep them away. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. No. How many dwarves are there in the world? Is Cersei going to kill them all? Not him. Ah! Are you trying to deceive your queen? Let me your guess. I would take it if you don't mind. It could prove useful for my work. Oh, Lord. Okay. Ew. Over there. This motherfucker. Oh god, the phony. This bitch is really cutting heads. Oh my god, I hate this bitch. <laughs>